Hi, I'm at um, Whole Foods. Um, I'm definitely uploading this video. Um, in Annapolis, Maryland, my Moorish American nation and family. Um, uh, I just um, got through posting or uploading my workout video. Um, I started back um, exercising again um, about two weeks ago. And um, then I ordered some herbs. And it's important for um, we as Moorish Americans, um, naturalized, healthy, divine beings to document when um, you are among those that are unclean, unhealthy. They're not only unclean and unhealthy, but they're diseased. When I say unhealthy, it could be for many reasons. Just because you're um, unhealthy doesn't mean you're unclean or whatever. You have those, you have unclean spirits that um, literally would spread viruses, um, diseases, um, it's in, and they think it's um, um, it's okay because they're programmed to feel that way that they should be able to. So um, when anytime an unclean spirit force mentally engage, and I feel like I I know I'm coughing forcefully, I try to document it because um, a lot of times, for instance, in some of the hospitals um, that was documented by this reporter. The hospitals would diagnose patients as having COVID-19 because they would get a stimulus pay or money for every patient that might have been um, that might that was deceased and they put um, that they died from um, coronavirus, the coronavirus um, or COVID-19. So the government gave the money for diagnosing patients or putting on their death certificate that they died from some form of the variant of COVID-19, the coronavirus. And um, what happened was this reporter did a special report and um, people and, um, and so they, um, the um, parents or the families of the deceased victim uh, looked on the death certificate and the reason why uh, was said that the person died was COVID-19 and they were told by the doctors that they died from a heart attack, for an example. A heart attack or cancer or some other reason, but then on the death certificate or in the paperwork it said COVID-19. Now, when you have um, hospitals that are able to get money for every patient that they diagnose or, or um, place or say that they have their deceased uh, because uh, and say by giving putting the word COVID-19 that's the reason that is definitely an open window for tyranny or abuse because when uh, money is involved in that manner uh, people um, not everyone is going to be legitimate in diagnosing so this is where you and so this also correlates to many uh, people who have been um, have been vaccinated and non-vaccinated, which I'm not uh, putting down anyone's been vaccinated or non-vaccinated. I'm just saying those who have also um, um, talked about how they were vaccinated and yet still tested positive for the coronavirus, uh, still seem to um, have um, some form of a variant of the coronavirus or so forth. So what I'm trying to get at, um, when I have one call, I try to document it because I know that we're among unclean spirits that can cause you to call. And um, it's amazing if you can if you can imagine as a spiritual being, um, a government putting an unclean spirit that can cause you to call and give you symptoms. Um, around put it put these spirits around someone's house or in a neighborhood okay or in a community and so people um they think they have an, a cough of being sick or whatever but really it's one of these unclean spirits or unclean spirit that a government this is just a think of a thought that um the government placed deliberately around homes neighborhoods communities to make masses of people sick. So um, this, uh, so it, it, when you when you're among such um, unclean 
unnatural spirits as this, you should be you should be willing to question everything. Question everything. But the thing is, when you program, when you program and you yourself are outside of natural law, you're gonna um, and your thoughts. If you program, you you're, you're not gonna question, but a little bit. That's the difference between a Moorish American that's in natural law and those that are non moors that are in natural law and those that are outside of natural law. You, there is a huge difference. There is no way in a world a moor who's in their right state of mind will want to cross over to be in a world where you are my program people that can only use but so much of a privilege and have it taken away. Why would you want to accept privileges when you have rights? There is no way in the world. Uh, but um, that's, that's it. that is one of the biggest difference, I would say, of the United States jurisdiction that's uh, dealing with unnaturalized beings and a Moorish empire where you are naturalized or other um, nations that are naturalized and are up upholding natural laws of freedom. That is a huge difference, a big difference, Islam. So um, I just wanted to bring that up because I almost, I coughed once and this seems to happen um, definitely when I know a spirit is forced, an unclean, unnatural spirit is forced mentally engaging. And as a spiritual woman who is um, embracing spirituality, I, I give testimony about it. It is uh, December the 1st, 2021. Um, it's interesting to know many doctors and nurses, uh, they don't speak that much about the spiritual aspect of health. But they but they are quick to diagnose people with schizophrenia, bipolar. Um, what else they that COVID nineteen? These are not, not all, um, too many. Um, what other they diagnose um, other mental disorders? But they don't do they. But they don't deal with the spiritual aspect of health. 